Coach Friday and I are coming to you from my garage. I uh, wanted to touch base with you and uh, give you a little bit of information on what our training is going to look like for these next couple of months here uh, to finish up the spring semester. But uh, as we've kind of met and talked and, and planned out what our training is going to look like, uh, I've really thought about this idea of uh, accelerating in exile. Okay, uh, we, Our lives are going to be very, very different for these next couple months. Uh, we've all gone back different places uh, at home now, uh, not on campus and not together. Uh, so in a sense, we are in exile. Uh, and the worst thing that we can do right now is to do nothing, uh, to get out of our good habits, uh, to, to slow down the momentum that we've gained over these winter months uh, in our training and uh, regress, because uh, that's going to be the easy thing to do. And that's what a lot of people are going to do uh, in, in both school and in athletics. Uh, we need to keep moving the needle. We need to keep finding new ways to get better uh, and, and, and come up with the best training plan that we can uh, to, to keep making progress uh, and finish strong this spring semester. Uh, so really want to talk about three big things today. Uh, is number one, don't throw away your time. Okay, A lot has been invested up to this point. We need to continue to make investments in our time and in our energy uh, to keep moving the needle forward. Okay, uh, this is going to create a lot of adversity, all right, and where we are and what we're doing. Uh, but adversity can really create personal growth, and that's how we need to look at this as a positive light and what we can gain from this, what we can learn from this, and how we can grow from this. Okay, number two, we need to reestablish good habits. Okay, um, next week the faculty will be meeting a lot and getting in touch and base with you uh, as far as what school's going to look like, what your classes are going to look like, and how this online uh, remote learning is going to look. Uh, but we need to get into a good habit set, all right, as far as our academics, on when we're me meeting online with our professors, uh, when we're studying, how we're fulfilling our assignments, and, and finishing the semester strong academically. Uh, we need to have good habits there. We also need to reestablish good habits when it comes to our nutrition and sleep patterns. All right, uh, our schedule is going to be a little bit different. We need to find a good routine and flow on a daily basis and on a weekly basis that we're getting sleep uh, and that we're, we're finding time to study, we're doing our training, and we're eating right and, and paying close attention to our nutrition and what we're putting into our bodies. Um, and uh, get in a good routine uh, on a daily, weekly basis. And number three, when it comes to training, we need to kind of pivot our training goals. Our, our training programs are going to look a little bit different than what they would normally do on campus. Uh, and what we're going to do is set up a training program that's got different versions of as close to the same thing as we can have uh, that will accommodate you, where you're at, and what equipment that you have. All right, but we really need to have uh, uh, four different goals when it comes to our training right now and what that's going to look like. Uh, the first being we want to retain uh, our, our neural force production. All right? uh, essentially, we want to retain the explosiveness that we've developed in our training up to this point. Uh, and that's going to look a little bit different now. So we're not going to be able to snatch, clean, and jerk like we normally would on a platform with a full bumper set. Uh, but we can still do uh, explosive movements, lifts and throws and jumps uh, with regular everyday uh, household equipment that you might have in your basement or your garage. Uh, and we can train differently uh, with different equipment, different modes, but still get your bodies to be explosive. All right. Secondly, we need to retain muscle size. All right. Uh, we won't be able to train as a high level as a, a intensity relative to your one repetition maximum. Uh, but we can still uh, uh, retain that muscle size through higher frequency and higher volume movements in our training program. So we're probably going to train more days of the week, and we're probably going to be training in a higher repetition range. Okay, third, uh, we're going to increase our work capacity. Okay, uh, we're going to build a good base of anabolic conditioning that's going to have a good carryover to our next phase of training, uh, wherever we are in our, our, in our yearly program. And then number four, we can really use this time to focus on prehab and correct any uh, movement dysfunctions or bad motor patterns that we have in our bodies, maybe some previous injury areas. Uh, we can really focus on that and, and do a lot of different exercises that's going to make you a better total athlete. Uh, by correcting those dysfunctions and those movement patterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to be posting some videos uh, to this YouTube page. Uh, we're going to be emailing out 
uh, the weekly training programs. We're going to email out some uh, information on equipment. Okay, uh, so where you're at, your training program can look different ways, whether you have access to weights right now, or if you just have some dumbbells, uh, or kettlebells, or resistance bands, we're gonna send you some information of just simple things that you can get at Walmart uh, while you're out getting groceries, uh, some resistance bands, or med balls, or water jugs that you can fill up. Uh, we can do things with backpacks loaded up with books, with soup cans, anything that we can find, wheelbarrows, uh, things around the house or in the garage that you already have that we can use for our physical training. So our training programs are going to start next week on March 23rd. We'll have that email to you. Please check your email. We're going to be sending out a lot of information, staying in contact with you, posting new videos to this YouTube page. Uh, so please stay connected to that. Check your email. Uh, and if you have any questions, or you need more information, or you have questions on, uh, I have this equipment, what can I do? Please email me, please email Coach Friday. Uh, we're gonna be totally available to you guys uh, on what you need uh, to really continue to move the needle uh, over these next couple months over this, uh, this spring training phase.